Okay, now we're going to beat map some audio. I made an audio region from our unbeat mapped MIDI region. It's the same piano part, and we'll listen to it. Now, when I click on a MIDI region, right, we see MIDI data in the beat mapping track. However, when I click on an audio region, we get the audio data in the beat mapping track. Now, all of these little white lines, and there's a ton of them underneath the audio, are transients. Now, you don't want too many transients. You just want the ones that line up properly with the attack of the notes in the audio region. In the current version of Logic, the Analyze button is now called Detect, and the Sensitivity control is labeled Transients with plus and minus toggle buttons. It's just two ways to do the same thing. Different types of material require different sensitivities. Here's what I mean. If it's a real strong rhythmic track, it's easy. But sometimes other types of tracks, like piano tracks, can be more difficult. Just set your transient sensitivity so that you get enough transient markers so you can beat map to them. This looks pretty good. And you can see my arpeggiated stuff right here. Cool. And this other area over here where there's some arpeggiation, you got a couple lines for that too. So you have some choices. It's working out pretty good so far. So what you do now is you go and attach the beat mapping grid lines to the transient lines. Here's the first one. Great. Now, because I've beat mapped this one before, I know that the next one comes on the upbeat. But there's two lines here, two transient lines, so I better listen and figure out which one will work best. And that's where listening to the click will help. So I'll grab the proper tick on the upbeat, and I'll pick the point or the line that coincides with the loudest part of the waveform. This lands right on beat 4, so I'll connect the lines. And I know that the next one is right on the downbeat of 2, because I know the tune. So I'll pick the loudest transient line. That works good. And I know that this is right on 3, because it sounds like it should be. And this lines up to the upbeat. And you just keep doing the same thing till you stretch out the grid to match your performance. I think the downbeat of 5 will go to the loudest part of this waveform. You know, sometimes beat mapping to audio is even more fun. I don't know why, but it, I think it's kind of a blast. And I'll just keep going through here, and this is that big arpeggio, so I'll pick one of the louder ones. Not bad. This one comes on the upbeat. Let's listen. This one comes on beat 4, and I know that this one comes on the downbeat of 7. And there we go. And as I zoom in on this, you can see the tempo changes throughout the whole region. And they reflect my actual performance, which is the whole point of beat mapping. Drawing curves against audio regions doesn't work because audio regions don't stick to the grid. So what happens is, is that everything gets out of time, which means that our beat map is not going to be beat mapped. So I'll just hit undo and delete those curves that I uh, drew in. And one more. Here we go. Hit Command-Z, and we're back to where we started. So remember, don't draw curves against audio. You can do it against MIDI. It will change the timing a little bit, but it works. Let's say that you want to try another alternative beat mapping track. Well, what you have to do is go to the tempo track, select one of the alternative tempo tracks, click on the beat maps header, which selects all of the beat mapping, and hit delete. Now you can click on the audio region and start all over again. So you just go through the same process, and maybe you want to try out 
a couple of other alternatives and see how that works. And, uh, you know, try whatever you want. And, of course, what I'm doing here is not correct at all. But it doesn't matter because the first alternative is still there. And you can try it up to nine different ways because there are nine different tempo alternatives in the Tempo Global track. Since beat mapping puts in the tempo nodes by itself, you probably never have to worry about quantization. There's one more way to create a beat map track, and that's called Beats from Regions. I'm going to show you that and protecting MIDI in the next video.